हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सुनी आई एस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द लास्ट वर्कशीट ऑन आर्ट एंड कल्चर दैट इज वर्कशीट नंबर फाइव सो द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज डिस्कशन विल बी एज पर द लेक्चर दैट वी हैव डन इन द फिल्म्स क्रैश कोर्स 2023 so the topic is very very important and you can expect a question from this topic in the upsc csc 2023 indian schools philosophy and the based on that philosophy we have indian schools and the jainism and buddhism that is the favorite topic of upsc we are going to see the questions from this topic question number 1 match the following pairs so here the school is given and the description is given now we'll see that how to attempt the question you should know the technique information is required but apart from information you should also know that how one should attempt the paper so first we'll read the description emphasizes the use of ritual <coughs> and meditation techniques such as dt yoga to attain buddhahood in a single lifetime if you know this if you have read this anywhere then it's fine otherwise go on to the next description emphasizes compassion and the bodhisattva ideal so now we have got the key term that is bodhisattva and we have repeatedly discussed this in the class that bodhisattva is always associated with mahayan so this implies that two is associated with b so we can eliminate option number a and d 2b and 2b we are left with b and c option next is emphasizes spiritual advancement and attainment of enlightenment through one's own effort your own effort is required in the old school and that was theravar hai na and because in the new school you are supposed to take the help of bodhisattva that is mahayan so yahan pe the one will be matched with c so now we are left with only one option that is option number c this implies that vajrayan <clears throat> in this you apart from the tantric practices you have to do meditation also so c is the correct option this way you have to approach the question next assertion reasoning the kalpa sutra is an essential text in jainism and is widely studied by jain scholars and practitioners so yes we have read this kalpa sutra contains a wealth of information on ancient indian customs rituals and religious practices this also we have covered that they contain the jain rituals of paryushan samvatsari upavas right so let's see whether one <clears throat> second statement is the reason or not now how you have to check put the conjunction because so kalpa sutra is essential <clears throat> and is studied because it contains a wealth of information it is making sense so a is the correct option one more information kalpa sutra is also known as jain canon of rituals jain canon of rituals fine chalo question number 3 <clears throat> consider the following statements about the relation between shakya and kaushal clan so first of all recall the chapter of buddhism that we did in the class we have seen that buddha belonged to shakya clan means buddha his father and his wife these all three belong to shakya clan while buddha's mother belong to kaushala clan this we have seen <coughs> and father and mother were married so that means there was a relation between the two so they were closely related and allied clans in ancient india that is absolutely correct shakya clan was a republic that was governed by an oligarchy of nobles yes there were few nobles who were controlling that while kaushala kingdom from where buddha's mother came was a monarchy absolutely correct buddha's mother was from kaushala clan that we have already seen so d 1 2 3 <coughs> <coughs> were the are the correct option next question number 4 
कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट दिगंबर एंड श्वेतांबर सो हेयर यू शुड नो दैट लाइक थेराबाद वॉज द ओल्ड स्कूल द ओरिजिनल स्कूल एंड महायान वॉज द न्यू स्कूल द सेम वे दिगंबर इज द ओल्ड स्कूल विच बिलीव्ड इन न्यूडिटी विच वॉज यू कैन से लेड बाय भद्र बाहू एंड श्वेतांबर व द पीपल हु यूज टू से दैट वन शुड वियर वाइट ड्रेस वाइट क्लोथ and this was created in the north when bhadra bahu went to the south region so digambar jains do not believe in the practice of nudity it is wrong digambar believed in nudity shwetambar believed in the practice of nudity no they believed in the wearing of white clothes digambar jains believed in idol worship white shwetambar do not it is vice versa so d none of them are correct so this this could be solved just by your basic understanding of the concept of jainism and its subsects next question consider the following statements about the introduction of women in buddhist monasteries so we have seen that buddha allowed earlier only men were allowed in the buddhist monasteries then in the 8th year of uh, the after his enlight- enlightenment you can say he allowed women into the buddhist monasteries like men were called bhikkhus women were called bhikkhunis hai na and this was done on the recommendation of his favorite disciple that was ananda and who was the first women who was inducted into the sangha that was gautami put <coughs> gautami prajapati gautami who was she she was buddha's foster mother because buddha's mother died after the birth of gautam buddha so he was raised by his aunt that is prajapati gautami and she was the first lady to be entered into that sangha so introduction of women into buddhist monasteries <coughs> occurred during the time of buddha it is absolutely correct the introduction of women into buddhist monasteries was met with the resistance from male obviously this is a general statement the the people will feel they will resist the change they said that they will be corrupted they, they that their dharma will be destroyed fine introduction of women into the buddhist monasteries led to the formation of separate nunneries yes for them a separate nunneries was created and in fact in that uh, nunnery Uh, it was led by a senior nun known as theri so which of them are correct all of them are correct d is the correct option now consider the following statements about the das bhumika sutra acha see why we have included this worksheet uh, question in the worksheet we have not discussed about das bhumika in the class but how this such sort of question now you will say ki ma'am you have not uh, discussed it in the class and it is included in worksheet the same way it could be asked in upsc also now here your aptitude will work das bhumika if you will break it you will find that there will be something associated with 10 but when you will read the second statement it describes the eight stages or bhumis which a bodhi sattva must pass through in order to become a buddha so from here only you can eliminate this option that it will be 10 stages not 8 stages and once you eliminate second wala part so cut 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 you will be getting the c option so it uh, what is the lesson that you have to learn from this question that not every question uh, which appears to be tough is actually tough here you have to use your common sense also so now le- uh, let's read the other uh statements thus bhumika sutra is a hinayan buddhist text no it is not hinayan it is mahayan buddhist text <coughs> first stage is the heat stage when person has a strong desire to attain enlightenment the way you guys have strong desire to crack the upsc and the final stage is the dharma cloud stage 
when a person attains enlightenment means you have cracked the exam you have become the officer so c is the correct option next question in buddhism what does upa sampada stands for three month annual retreat observed by theravada buddhism so we have discussed the important terminology in buddhism in the class so what is that called three month annual retreat that is known as vassa hai na if we know this term that means this is not the correct option marks the end of three lunar months of vassa where each monk alone atone for offense before sangha so we have seen that this was not upasampada it was pavrana so this means again this is not the correct statement ordination ceremony what which makes a theravada buddhist monks yes when a new person enters into a sang the ordination ceremony by which he becomes a monk that is known as upa sapada and guru of newly ordinated monk that is known as upajhaya upaj jhaya so that's why your terminology which we are which we have discussed in the class is very very important fine in fact uh, there could be a question uh, statement like rules of sangha so what is that called that is called pati moksh pati moksh next consider the following statements with respect to buddhism and jainism Buddhism believes in transmigration and karma so we have seen when we were discussing these concepts that if they believe in transmigration and karma <coughs> they believes in the existence of soul no they did not believe in anicca they did not believe in soul jainism believes in the existence of god yes they believed in the existence of god they said if at all god exist then they are below the thing, tirthankar means the top is tirthankar then comes the god and they exist jainism condemned varna system they did not condemn they did not condemn varna system they believed in varna system so that means c is the correct option if we'll ask that uh, did jainism believes in soul yes they believe in the soul animate as well as inanimate fine next question consider the following statements about anekantavad what is anekantavad multiple dimension of or aspect multiple realities fine and this was given by jainism philosophy we discussed this in the jain philosophy so anekantavad is a buddhist doctrine in fact you don't have to read further in say that is it was a jain doctrine so yahan pe the statement is wrong and once you eliminate the first one you will be getting the correct option it is often translated as many sidedness yes because a uh, 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 an issue or an aspect has multi sided and one does not have that power to analyze all the aspects it emphasizes the principle of relative pluralism and the concept of syadvad which states that no single or absolute truth exist multiple dimensions are there so 2 and 3 both are correct next question consider the following statements about ajivika ajivika was an ancient indian philosopher philosophical and religious movement during the reign of bindusara yes we have seen that during mauryas all the sects existed together <coughs> and ajivika was closely associated with the barabar caves yes it was an heterodox schools and it was existed uh, existing around the same time as buddhism and jainism so c is the correct option next question which of the following buddhist mudra represents buddha's awakening so you should know that dharma chakra mudra represents the teaching which teaching the first sermon fine at sarnath bhumi sparsh mudra because buddha was uh, saying that uh, uh, he was not distracted by any demon mara 
and that's why he touched earth for the same that is called bhumi sparsh mudra and that represents buddha's awakening what is karna mudra it is for the warding of the evil warding of the evil it helps to reduce sickness negative thoughts vajra mudra it represents five elements of which everything is made up of fire air water earth metal one is varad mudra varad mudra is varad mudra is for the compassion okay for the boon next question consider the following statements about nigli sagar inscription so it is an ancient indian inscription which is written in which script first of all sanskrit is not script it is a language so it is written in brahmi script the statement is incorrect so let's eliminate first one <coughs> the inscription is located in nigli sagar a village in the present day state of rajasthan no it is in uttar pradesh so second again wrong that means c is the correct option the inscription is believed to have been inscribed is inscribed during the reign of bindusara no it was during the reign of ashok the inscription mentions the construction of a stoop and the vihar at the site absolutely correct next question consider the following statements about teerthankars Rishabh Nath, the first Tirthankar, is associated with the symbol of serpent. No, it was bull. So you should know the symbols. Parshanath is associated with lion. No, it was associated with serpent. And Mahavir, the last Tirthankar, was associated with the symbol of bull. No, it was lion. So which of the above statements are incorrect? It is one, two, and three. Question number fourteen. which consider the following statements regarding the difference between buddhism and jainism first jainism teaches the concept of non violence as the ultimate path to liberation exact absolutely true because they even did not allow the insects to be killed in agriculture even <clears throat> while buddhism does not prioritize non violence as a central principle absolutely correct Buddhism emphasizes the attainment of liberation through the three jewels. No, we have read the three jewels, three ratna and Jainism. Th- <clears throat> While Jainism focus on the attainment of enlightenment through the four noble truth and the eight fold path, it was given in Buddhism by Gautam Buddha. So that means which of the above statements are correct? A one only. Last question of the day is. Consider the following statements about the three pitak. Three pitak is divided into three main sections: Susutta pitak, Vinaya pitak, Abhidhamma pitak. As the name suggests, three means three, so it is divided into these three section. One is correct. If one is correct, but we are asked the incorrect one. Okay. Vinaya pitak contains discourses attributed to Buddha. It is not given in Vinaya pitak. We have discussed this is given in. Sutta pitak. So second statement is incorrect. That means we have incorrect in B and D. Abhidhamma pitak contains rules and regulations for monastic life. It is not given in Abhidhamma pitak. It is given in Vinaya pitak. So third is also incorrect. Sutta pitak contains philosophical and psychological analysis of the teachings of Buddhism. so it is not in sutta pitak it is in abhidhamma pitak abhi dhamma pitak so that means 2 3 and 4 are incorrect so that completes our lecture on uh, art and culture that completes our complete course so thank you all the very best for upsc csc 2023